Hello and a very warm welcome to another edition of Talking Germany, the show where we do just that. Now, uh, take the best of country and western and mix it up with the German genre of Schlager songs. And what you've got is music that is full of feeling, full of life's highs and lows, triumphs and disasters. What you have also got is my guest today, Gunter Gabriel. Yeah, here he is. Good to see you, yeah. yeah good to it's, have a, you. it's a pleasure. It's a privilege to have you here, Gunter. Yes, uh, nice. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Now, Gunter Gabriel has, in his time, made a fortune as a singer and a songwriter, but I have to tell you, he has also lost that fortune and fallen about as low as you can get. But despite all these setbacks, he's remained a man of music. <laughs> The first question, yeah? People talk about you. When, when they talk about you, they say you are a country and western singer and a schlager singer. For the people out there in the big wide world, what mm. is schlager? Yeah, schlager is a typical German song. I think in, in, in Holland and uh, Netherlands, they have the, the uh, similar type of uh, songs. Really? Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I, I know that. Um, it's... Uh, it's a pop music. It's a typical German way of pop music. Yeah. It's very... It's, 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 uh, in the last years, in the 70s, we had a lot of good German Schlagers. Habe ich dir heute schon gesagt, dass ich liebe? Have I told you that I, that I love you today? <laughs> Sometimes very great songs. Marmorstein und Eisenbrecht. Yeah. Yeah. Very good song by uh, yeah. Drafi Deutscher. Uh -huh. But in last time, uh, I, I, I miss... Good ideas in the songs. Really? Uh, I think a Schlager is a little bit like uh, country music in America. I think yeah. so. Yeah? Mm. That's the comparison that I always yeah. make. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go back a little bit in time to the 1950s when you were sort of getting going in music. Yeah, mm -hmm. just tell me what it was like in Germany. The feeling when Germany was a, a little bit of a it wasn't a boring country, but it was very staid. It was very steady, and then suddenly rock and roll came yeah. along. You don't, Elvis came you along. You don't have to forget. Mm. In the 50s, mm. it was uh, 10 years after the war. Yeah. 10 years after the war, a terrible war. Yeah. And Germany was uh, uh, crashed uh, yeah. Yeah. down. Uh, yeah. And uh, it was a very hard time. And the music was um, to, to make uh, a good feeling in the, in the folk, yeah. to the folk. Uh, yeah. Very simple songs. Uh, yeah. Das sind die Beine von Dolores yeah, and die Senores. Okay, so it was Ash, very sweet oh. and a little bit escapist. And, oh. th and then came Elvis Presley. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Elvis Presley. Yes. Elvis Presley. That was, in that time, I said to myself, it is possible to make music as a man to be a man. First time, you are... A soft man when you sing uh, German songs. Yeah. Then was rock and roll. Rock and roll was philosophy, you know. It's a new uh, view of of life. Yeah? One for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready, no go, cat, go, okay. but don't you step on my blue switch. <laughs> You've got your first Great, impressions like of this guy. He's irrepressible, isn't he? <laughs> Gunter, let's go right back to the very beginning, to your mm. childhood. You have described your childhood as a catastrophe, you know, mm. yourself. Mm. And I, I read something very interesting. I read that from at that time you wrote a diary. Mm. Do you still have the diary? Yeah, yeah. When, when I will, uh, lost, uh, when, I, when somebody will stole my diary, he stole my life. No? He will stole my life. And do you sometimes go back in your diary and read about your childhood? Sometimes, sometimes. When I when I when I wrote my biography, yeah. I go. I went back. What What did I think in that time? Yeah. What happened in that time? I, the, we 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 are people. We forget a lot of uh, hard times, and we remember all the, the good times. Uh, mm -hmm. And sometimes it's necessary to. To, to read, ah, uh -huh. and that time I saw Neil Diamond in the Deutschland Halle in Berlin. <laughs> he was great. Santana, I met him on the Waldbühne, yeah? uh -huh. uh, or Bob Marley. Uh -huh. We drank together tea and uh, go in a restaurant in Berlin. Yeah? Lovely. And, and, and I forgot that, yeah. Uh -huh. But then I, I read it, yeah, I have the ticket for the show and so on. So happy memories. Yeah. 
But not just happy memories. No, not... not you not, wrote about the difficult things as well. Yeah, difficult things. Uh, most uh, about my, my, li my, my soul, uh, Your soul. What, what, what repressed me or so. Okay. Uh, let me, t let, let me ask you about Johnny Cash, because it's, it's an in a very interesting parallel, I think, between you and Johnny Cash, because both of you are people who's, whose lives were real roller coasters. When you, when you were together with Johnny Cash, what did you two talk about? Uh, in 76, I visited him in yeah. uh, his house in Hendersonville, yeah. near Nashville. Mm. It uh, was because I, uh, I copied have stolen a little bit from his song <laughs> Warren in Man in California from Life on San Quentin. Yeah? Yeah. And um, he, he translated the song in Ich werd gesucht in Bremerhaven, Ich werd gesucht in Wuppertal. Yeah. It the, was the an outlaw story. The police are looking story. for me in Bremerhaven, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's an outlaw song. It's an outlaw song, yeah. <laughs> I feel like an outlaw, yeah. I, yeah. I like Johnny Cash and yeah. William Jennings, Willie Nelson, David Allen Cole. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my heroes, yeah. And so he invited me because he heard about this song. It was my first hit song in Germany. And it was funny, huh? he invited me to come over, sit down at my table. He, it was a long table in his kitchen. Yeah. He sat on the, on the, on the tide, tide, uh, side here. His parents, Roseanne Cash, Cindy, Tara Cash, they all sat around the table. It was a birthday from I don't know where, yeah. who. And June Carter, he sat beside me. And a black people uh, uh, served uh, uh, ch chicken. Chicken. Southern chicken. Yeah, and I was very hungry. Okay. And now he's, June Carter started to pray. Oh. She done. She she could not stop. Yeah, it it, it lasts and lasts minutes and minutes, and and so we meet us the first time. I wonder if the um, if the table that you're talking about there is the table that we see in in the uh, jo Johnny Cash video, hurt. Could be. Could be. Could yeah. be because. Uh, one second. One second. Before yeah. let's talk about that in just a second. Yeah. yeah. Because I have to. T I have to say that Gunter's current CD is called Man aus dem Volk, Man of the People. And it is in many ways influenced by Johnny Cash's legendary last recordings, the American recordings. In the Johnny Cash video, the Hurt video, it's all about dying. Mm. Yeah. In your video, what's it about? Mm. Dying was the dying, sterben. Yeah. yeah. That's the Johnny Cash video. It's yeah, about yeah. dying. In your video, what's the story? What are you saying there? The story is not dying. The story no. is. At the end of my life, I have enough to give to you to have a good time with me. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, all, all, all the people, they have something to love. And, and that's the rest. That's what remains. Style lager. It's, what, what, is it's that? what remains. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I feel now, in my time, I'm 70 next year. Yeah. I feel fantastic. Why? Good question. Why? Yeah, why? Why? Because I see something not so prob full of problems. I, I can uh, lose problems. I can you can lose. solve the problems. Yeah, I, I, I have no fear anymore. Yeah? I know where is the way. Why? why? Why do you have no fear anymore? Teach me that. I would like to know why. I would like to be fearless. It's, it's a little bit my talent, maybe, or what I learned in my life. Wait, your time will come. Be, uh, be honest, ehrlich, yeah? Yep. Be honest. Yes. Und be, uh, be honest with yourself. Or, or also to, other to the other people, yeah? yeah? See all the other people and help other people. And see uh, nicht alles problematisch. You don't just see problems, you see solutions. Yes. And, that's, mm -hmm. and uh, when I eat uh, uh, spaghetti versus pasta... Spaghetti? Yeah. yeah. It tastes noodles. better than... Than, than ever before. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, when I drive to my country, I like it more, yeah. It's interesting. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and he said something very interesting to me. He said, in my life, I have reached the point now where I am not taking, I am giving. Yeah. This yeah. sounds a lot like what you're saying. I, I, I don't know why it, uh, what, uh, what happened, yeah, was the passiert. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, I give you a picture. It's like a farmer, he has um, 
Ernte, wie heißt es nochmal? Harvest. The harvest, harvest yeah. into his checks oder Scheune. Yeah. Yeah? Into, into his barn. The, yeah. the barn mm -hmm. and the last is there. Mm -hmm. hold it in yeah. that barn. Yeah. But uh, the, the, uh, the harvest is not to hold it, yeah. to give it to the people. To share. They have, yeah, to share, okay. to, to, to feed the people, yeah? And so my, uh, my money, what I, what I could earn, uh, I have to give it to other people, like the farmer, the... Who shares the harvest. So, and that's the point. It's a great, it's a great thought. Yeah. But, 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 but it's fantastic stuff. I mean, Gunter, has, his life got off to a very difficult start. Then he, he earned enormous amounts of money, but then there was another fall after that, and now he's telling us that at this age, nearly 70, about what he's learned. It's great stuff. <laughs> you know what it is like in this country, in this very rich country, Germany, you know what it is like to be... to have no money and to be homeless. What is it like? Tell me. Was heißt es auf Deutsch eigentlich? What is it like? What is it like? What is the feeling also. of having no home and no money in a rich country? And yeah, then you're you're nothing. In that time, you're nothing. And you have had this feeling. You said to yourself. You thought to yourself. I had never, never in my life, I had that feeling uh -huh. because I had, I had enough in ideas. Mm -hmm. to stop that uh, that situation yeah, yeah. Uh, i uh, i was a man i am a man mm -hmm. still <laughs> <laughs> he can help himself okay. is that right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. i had my guitar or or uh, i worked that's, as a that's interesting my next question was going to be did you lose your guitar did you always have your guitar yes yeah. always i have my guitar and were you and always my right and, and your my, voice. And, and you were writing and, songs all the time. And writing songs and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, uh, in that time, I lost all my money. I, 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 I lived on an autobahn in Germany, like you Americans. You lived on an interstate, did. on a motorway. Yes, like uh, Jeff Bridges in, this, in this, the movie uh, Crazy Heart. Yeah. In, in, in this exact the same way. And how did I that lived, feel? What was that for a feeling? After that, no, it was a great feeling. You have... Uh, um, Freedom, just another word for nothing left to lose. Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson's song. It was my life, and that's, it was right. It was exactly right. In that time, good. I had no money, okay. Mm -hmm. But I have, had my guitar and a bar where I could play for, for a meal or for more than uh, 1,000 bucks. Yeah, you played yeah. in people's living rooms across Germany. Yes, yeah. I did it. Yeah, 450 S times. More, seven, more, more than seven. I never stopped that. Oh yeah. <laughs> my my record company <laughs> said to me, "Stop that! Uh -huh. yeah, it's not necessary anymore." So, it, said, so you would come and play in my living room? Yes, I would do. In your in your sleeping room too. Ooh, okay. I, um. I got a uh, I got a <laughs> I, I got an invitation yeah. in a in a small uh, double uh, uh, water closet yeah. outside. Uh, in Germany... An outdoor toilet. An uh, outdoor toilet. Uh, he, Gunter uh, Gabriel uh, live in an outdoor toilet. Uh, um, a mechanic of that company. Uh, I would marry in an outdoor toilet. Would you play for me and my, my woman? Oh, God, I said, is... it's crazy, I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can imagine. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> no. OK, well, many moons ago, uh, the crazy Gunter Gabriel was working as a trucker. And at that time, there was still a whiff of adventure about the job. These days, though, it's a really tough old way to earn a euro. Martin van Dalen has been driving trucks for over 30 years. This year, times are especially tough. The roads are icy, the freeways are full. There's one traffic jam after the next. Am I on schedule? Will I make it home or do I need to stay in a hotel or sleep in my truck? Daily news reports add to the stress. The radio announcer says that the police union is calling for a special speed limit for trucks during winter. People just don't get it. They want to go to the supermarket and see the grocery shelves stocked, and that means you need trucks. Tight delivery schedules and tight regulations. Stopped at a police checkpoint, this trucker has exceeded the permitted driving time. Time is money and competition is fierce. Prices are down. Competition from the east is getting tougher. I didn't want to say it, but it's true. There's pressure on prices. So then you try to compensate, right? 
Das versucht man dann irgendwo wieder zu kompensieren. You might not take your break. And you don't stick to the rules about how long you can drive. The truckers are the ones who bear the burden. This time he gets away with a 200 euro fine. But even truckers who try to stick to the driving times can run into trouble, like Mario Wirrenbeck has tonight. The radio announcer says trucking berths on the A4 motorway are full from here to the state border. Mario tries the next stop, but at 8 in the evening, all 200 parking spots are occupied. Martin von Dahlen is still on schedule, but some of his fellow truckers are out of luck. The radio announcer says the A3 motorway ahead is closed. A truck skidded on the ice and is blocking the road. This time, Martin can take a different route, but he knows that tomorrow he might not have the same luck. I suppose one thing we ought to talk about, how, how much does a trucker in Germany earn? Have you got any idea? Between 2,000, 3,000, I think so. 2,000, no, 3,000? at the moment. Yeah? Euros, yeah. So we're talking about there about three and a, three and a half thousand dollars, yeah? Is that a lot of money or is that, is that fair? Is that a good wage for that kind of life? I, I, I would... I, I would... not change. Yeah. Also, ich würde das niemals tun. Ja. You wouldn't do it. Nein, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. What's the problem? What's, the what's problem the, is the yeah. loneliness on the road. The loneliness. The loneliness. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's a hard job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe that the money is less than two or three thousand. You're alone. Yeah. You're alone. Uh, it's a little bit like a cowboy feeling. A lone cowboy. Uh, and you have no friends. You never know if your but, children... But in the country in Western songs, the, the driver always has another friend, often a woman, in the next town. Yeah, that's uh, like the, uh, the, the sailor, the same. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, but I, I, I'm not really sure. They have no time. <laughs> Only for a quickie. Do, you know? <laughs> do you have... <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Gabriel. Do you, do, you, do you have truckers amongst your audience? Amongst yeah, your fans, very, very fun. Very, yeah? very, 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 a lot of uh, truckers. Yeah. Every time, uh, every year, uh -huh. we have on the Nürburgring a oh, yeah. big the truck race racing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one hundred thousand people uh, uh, in the um, audience. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The stage. Yeah. And you play that? Yeah, I play every year. Oh, cool. Because I, I, I wrote eighty truck songs. Eighty. Okay. One big hit, but another good truck songs. Yeah. Okay. Let's get off trucking just for a second because I, uh, we're, we're getting a little bit close to the end. I just want you to talk about, you told me that just before he died, Johnny Cash yeah. phoned you. Tell me a little bit more about yeah, that. Yeah, he, he phoned me. I was more than 25 minutes, uh, 25 years. I was more than 25 years uh, in friend, yeah. a friend of Johnny yeah. Cash. He wrote me on an on a autograph, you are my friend, I am your friend. Yeah. yeah. And he, ta he, he phoned me, I have uh, on the... Automatic uh, voice, oh, yeah. voice on, on your phone, on, yeah. on your answering machine. Uh, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Uh, Gunter, please come over and sing my songs in German. It for the German people, they uh, they could understand better yeah. my yeah. songs. Come over, my son will produce you. I give you one week in my own studio. Cool. And so I came over, and I saw him the last two weeks of his life. It was uh, 2003. Mm -hmm. in, the, yeah. in the summer of 2003, in September, he, he died. Yeah. And I saw him in the studio, very old. The hair was white, and his face... Uh, you, you must... His son must say to me, that is my father. I could not believe it. I could not believe that. He was terrible in that. Also, schrecklich, yeah. Gunter, on that, it, it's a very sad note to finish the show, but I think it's a very moving show and it really fits to our guest today, Gunter Gabriel. He's a man who has, he's a hard living sort of a guy, but he's very philosophical. I've enjoyed his company very much. If you've enjoyed it as much as I have, then do come back next week. Cheers.